The Temple of Hathor's discovery and exploration began when Napoleon Bonaparte's troops stumbled upon a town named Dendara, located 60 miles north of Luxor on the west bank of the Nile, in December of 1798. The troops were on a rest stop when they noticed the ornate top of a temple buried in sand. One of the men, a curious artist named Dominique Vivant Denon, was intrigued and decided to explore the site. Armed with a sketch pad, he navigated through the submerged gates of the buried temple. This spontaneous exploration led to one of the significant archaeological discoveries of that time. They had found the Temple of Hathor at Dendara. What made this discovery even more remarkable was an astronomical depiction on the temple ceiling known as the Dendara Zodiac. Under the leadership of Denon, the team ventured into the upper chambers of the temple where they found a dark, small chapel. Upon illuminating the room with a torch, Denon saw the zodiac depiction on the ceiling, showcasing a circular representation of the sky surrounded by symbolic forms of the twelve zodiac signs along with various other constellations. Additionally, beyond the zodiac in a circle were figures representing 36 so-called deacons, each representing 10 days of the year, totaling 360 days. This discovery piqued the interest of archaeologists globally, especially at a time when the translation of hieroglyphs was not yet mastered. The Dendara Zodiac held the hope of providing insights into dating ancient Egyptian civilization. When the Zodiac later arrived in Paris, it caused a sensation among scholars as it suggested that human civilization might date back tens of thousands of years, which introduced the concept of Atlantis into the conversation surrounding ancient Egypt. The Temple of Hathor and its zodiac became key elements in attempting to unravel the mysteries surrounding the timeline of humanity and the advanced knowledge possibly possessed by ancient civilizations. The explorations within the temple didn't just unveil architectural and astronomical wonders, but also sparked discussions and theories about the advanced knowledge of the universe that ancient Egyptians might have possessed. This significant archaeological discovery opened up a new window into understanding the intricate and profound relationship between ancient Egyptian culture, astrology, and the broader cosmos. The astrological and astronomical significance of the Temple of Hathor, particularly through the Dendara zodiac found within its chambers, represents a rich tapestry of ancient knowledge and the cultural importance of celestial bodies in ancient Egyptian civilization. The centerpiece of astrological and astronomical discovery in the Temple of Hathor is the Dendara zodiac. This is a circular depiction of the sky on the temple ceiling, showcasing the twelve zodiac signs along with various other constellations. The zodiac provides a glimpse into the ancient Egyptian understanding of celestial bodies and their positions. The zodiac is believed to depict ancient astrology and time periods stretching back as far as 14,000 years ago. The temple also contains unique date markers believed to indicate its original construction time before subsequent rebuilds. The celestial alignments hint at the timeline of ancient Egyptian civilization and its correlation with astrological ages. The detailed astronomical representations in the Temple of Hathor point towards a sophisticated understanding of the cosmos. The temple's architecture, such as the twelve columns representing the twelve zodiac signs and the alignment with certain star systems, demonstrates a structured approach towards encapsulating cosmic order. The temple is said to align with the Ursa Major stars, a significant deviation from traditional Egyptian temple alignments. This unusual alignment, coupled with the temple's astrological depictions, hints at possible connections to star systems like the Pleiades and Ursa Major, emphasizing a celestial linkage in its architectural and symbolic designs. Astrological symbols and constellations depicted within the temple also resonate with various mythologies. For instance, the temple's mythology around Hathor and the Pleiades, and the supposed lineage of divine females connected to Ursa Major, 
intertwine astrological understanding with mythological narratives. The astrological and astronomical knowledge encapsulated in the Temple of Hathor didn't only resonate within ancient Egypt, but sparked interests and discussions among scholars and archaeologists globally. It fostered a deeper exploration into the roots of human civilization and the widespread astrological themes found in various ancient cultures. The temple served as a hub for astronomical and astrological learning, aligning celestial knowledge with religious practices. The astrological themes were employed in ceremonies, possibly aimed at activating vibrational connections to the Pleiades as theorized. The zodiac's discovery challenged conventional dating of ancient Egyptian civilization, suggesting a far more ancient origin, and thereby connecting the ancient Egyptians to a broader cosmic timeline. The astrological and astronomical significance of the Temple of Hathor provides a profound insight into the intertwined nature of celestial understanding, religious practices, and cultural narratives in ancient Egyptian civilization, and possibly its implications on the broader spectrum of ancient human history. The Temple of Hathor at Dendera harbors intriguing connections to the Pleiades and Ursa Major, two significant star clusters in ancient mythology and astronomy. These connections are speculated through architectural alignments, mythological narratives, and astrological representations within the temple. The temple's architectural alignment is said to point towards the Ursa Major stars, which is considered an unusual alignment for an Egyptian temple. This alignment is seen as a deliberate design to resonate with specific star systems, hinting at a deeper cosmic understanding. According to the narratives surrounding the Temple of Hathor, there's a belief that Hathor was not just one goddess but seven, with connections to a global myth of seven goddesses. These goddesses are often linked to the Pleiades, a star cluster also known as the Seven Sisters. Egyptian archaeologist Abdul Rahman A. Amin, in his book, suggests a connection between the temple and these star systems. Many ancient cultures, including the Egyptians, are believed to have had a profound connection with the Pleiades star cluster. In the context of the Temple of Hathor, it's theorized that the seven Hathors or goddesses represented the Pleiades, emphasizing a celestial lineage. The alignment with Ursa Major is seen as a significant indicator of the temple's cosmic connections. Anton Parks, an author, explains that this star system, known as the Great Bear, is associated with a lineage of divine females, further connecting the Temple of Hathor to celestial beings. The temple houses astrological representations which could potentially be linked to these star systems. The Dendara zodiac and other celestial depictions within the temple may carry encoded messages or alignments related to the Pleiades and Ursa Major. The temple's connection to these star systems resonates with various ancient cultures' understanding and veneration of celestial bodies. This includes the acknowledgement of star clusters like the Pleiades and Ursa Major and their supposed influence on earthly matters. The temple symbolically represents the cosmic connection through its architectural and artistic features. The idea of Hathor and the seven goddesses embodying the Pleiades, along with the temple's alignment with Ursa Major, symbolizes a bridge between the earthly realm and the cosmos. There's a narrative that suggests a cosmic lineage traced back to star systems, implicating a deeper, perhaps extraterrestrial, connection. This cosmic lineage is seen as part of an ancient understanding of humanity's origins and its relationship with the stars. The Temple of Hathor, through its architectural, astrological and mythological facets, presents a captivating exploration of ancient Egyptian cosmology and its connections to the star systems of Pleiades and Ursa Major. These connections not only emphasize the celestial wisdom of ancient civilizations, but also invite a deeper inquiry into the intertwined relationship between earthly and cosmic realms in ancient Egyptian culture and beyond.
The Temple of Hathor holds a mystique surrounding vibrational technology and interdimensional aspects, grounded in ancient Egyptian understanding of sound, vibration, and possibly higher dimensional realities. These concepts are explored and speculated through the architectural features and mythological narratives associated with the temple. Hathor, often associated with music and dance, is also connected to the broader concept of vibrational technology. The Temple of Hathor is thought to house ancient knowledge regarding the use of sound and vibration for various purposes, including healing, defense, and possibly more advanced applications. Within the temple, there are depictions of Hathor using vibration for healing and defense. This suggests a sophisticated understanding of the power of vibration in altering physical and energetic states, potentially hinting at a form of ancient vibrational technology. The architecture of the Temple of Hathor, including its columns and chambers, might have been designed to resonate at specific frequencies, creating a vibrational field. Some theorists suggest that these architectural features could have been used for ceremonial or spiritual purposes to align with cosmic vibrations. There are speculations that the Temple of Hathor holds interdimensional significance. One theory posits that there might be a machine or a mechanism within the Temple's dimensional layers that could facilitate interdimensional travel or communication. Visitors and researchers have reported experiencing unusual electromagnetic phenomena within the temple, suggesting the presence of unique vibrational or frequency-based technologies. These phenomena include feelings of tiredness, headaches, and even interference with electronic devices. Speculative narratives suggest that ceremonies involving sound activation were conducted in the temple to harness or align with certain cosmic vibrations. The vibrational technology here may have been used to create a bridge between earthly and otherworldly realms. The mythological narratives surrounding Hathor and the temple often intersect with themes of celestial connection, sound, and vibration. These narratives might encode ancient knowledge about vibrational technology and its applications. The speculations and findings from the Temple of Hathor have sparked interest in the modern scientific community to explore the ancient understanding of vibration, sound technology, and its potential interdimensional aspects. The possible alignment of vibrational technologies with cosmic frequencies, as suggested by some theories, showcases an advanced understanding of the interplay between earthly and cosmic energies. It's suggested that the temple encodes vibrational knowledge that, if deciphered, could unveil advanced technological understanding, possibly related to interdimensional travel, healing, and energy harnessing. The Temple of Hathor, through its architectural brilliance, mythological narratives, and the mysteries surrounding vibrational technology, invites a deeper exploration into the realms of sound, vibration, and potentially interdimensional aspects of ancient Egyptian civilization. This enigmatic temple might hold keys to a profound understanding of vibrational science and its integration with the cosmic dance of frequencies, opening doors to dimensions beyond the conventional three-dimensional reality. The Temple of Hathor at Dendera is often seen as a repository of ancient knowledge, believed by some to house encoded cosmic codes and concepts of free energy. These intriguing aspects are often explored through the lens of the temple's architectural design, the symbolic representations found within, and the speculative theories surrounding its purpose and the knowledge of its builders. The architectural design of the temple is said to reflect certain cosmic codes. For instance, the twelve columns within the temple are believed to represent the twelve zodiac signs, which in turn are seen as symbolic representations of cosmic order. These columns are often linked to the icosahedron, a geometric figure with twenty faces, where each face is an equilateral triangle. This geometric correlation is seen as a direct encoding of cosmic geometry, 
which is believed to reflect the fundamental structures of the universe. Further delving into the numerical aspects, some interpretations point to the number 432 as a significant cosmic code. The number is derived by multiplying the 12 columns with the number of nodes in the icosahedron, and is often associated with a certain vibrational frequency believed to be harmonious or significant. The temple, through its design and symbolic representations, is speculated to embody these numerical and geometric codes, possibly reflecting an advanced understanding of cosmic geometry and vibrational frequencies. The concept of free energy is another speculative theory often associated with the Temple of Hathor. It's believed that the temple's design might encode ancient knowledge on harnessing free energy, possibly through vibrational technologies or other unknown means. The theory often circles back to the idea of vibrational frequencies and the potential to harness energy from these vibrations, which is a concept often termed as free energy. This theory posits that there could be a way to harness energy from the natural vibrations or resonances of the cosmos, which the ancients might have understood and encoded within the temple's design. The discussions surrounding free energy often lead to the broader narrative of a lost ancient wisdom or technology that could harness energy in ways that are currently not understood or have been forgotten over the millennia. The Temple of Hathor, with its intricate design, symbolic representations, and the mysteries surrounding its purpose, is often seen as a potential key to unlocking these ancient secrets. The exploration of the Temple of Hathor, therefore, extends beyond mere archaeological interest, venturing into the realms of ancient wisdom, cosmic codes, and the tantalizing possibility of free energy concepts. These aspects, encoded within the Temple's design, continue to spark intrigue and inspire theories that seek to unravel the advanced knowledge that ancient civilizations like Egypt might have possessed. Through the lens of the Temple of Hathor, the ancient world intertwines with speculative theories of cosmic codes and free energy, inviting a deeper inquiry into the untapped knowledge and the mysteries of the ancient Egyptian civilization.